Hello! In this Vago tutorial, we show how to download software, packages and add-ons from the Vago Download Center. And we show how to install the new Codesys version with the Codesys installer and then add the required packages. This then corresponds to the basic installation and contains all the steps to start a controller with Firmware 24 and Codesys 3.5 with Service Pack 18 Patch 2. The Vago Download Center can be reached at downloadcenter.vago.com. There is also a link in the video description. Applications, Codesys add-ons, firmware files, device description and so on are provided in the Download Center. We now want to install the PFC24 firmware on a PFC200 and need the Vago Upload tool for this. We also want to download the licensing add-on in order to be able to use libraries subject to licensing and the device description codices that includes the Vago libraries for later installation. We could also download the codices version Service Pack 18 Patch 2 here, then extract and install it, but we want to do that later using the codices installer. In order to be informed about security relevant updates, among other things, we also recommend installing the Vago Navigator, a link to the video is in the video description. So, we click on the firmware PFC24 tile and add it to the download list. Older firmware versions are also provided below. We do the same with the Vago Upload tool, the licensing add-on and the device description codices. The top right now shows that we have added 4 downloads. We also get there to the download list and download everything together. Now a contact query appears and we enter our data agree to the data protection and the license agreements and start the download. Since we have already installed a Codesys version, the Codesys installer is already available. The quickest way to find it is to search for Codesys installer in the Windows search bar. And we are opening it up. The Codesys installer is the Codesys tool to manage all installed Codesys versions, packages, add-ons and so on. Here we can also install a new Codesys version, for example Codesys 3.5 Service Pack 18 Patch 2, which is released for use with Firmware 24. To do this we click on the Add Installation box. In the pop-up window we now select the setup, 64-bit Codesys 3.5 Service Pack 18 version Patch 2 and confirm with OK. Now the version will be downloaded and installed and we follow the installation dialog. If the new version is installed, another tile with the Service Pack 18 version appears in the Codesys installer. New packages can be installed by using the Change button. The window opens, we click on Install File, select the Vago Licensing package and confirm with Open. The package is installed and we repeat the process with the package Vago Devices and Libraries. The two packages are now displayed in the add-on list and we go back. Now we want to install firmware 24 on the PFC. At first we have to extract the downloaded firmware zip file. Then we open the downloaded exe file Vago Upload. The Vago Upload tool opens. Then we select Update Firmware and the Firmware Update window opens. Now we enter the controller IP address and want to find the controller. Our controller is displayed. The current firmware version is 23. We tick on the controller and continue. File Explorer opens. We select the previous downloaded and extracted firmware 24. Confirm with Next and follow the installation dialog until firmware 24 is installed. Back in the Codesys installer, we can use the Start button of the respective Codesys version to open the development environment directly in the required version. We create a new standard project and select the connected controller. With a double click on device, the communication window opens and we scan the network. Our controller is displayed and we select it and confirm with OK. Now the registration takes place on the device and we are connected. In the drop-down field, we can also enter the IP address directly and connect with Enter. Finally, we log in and start the controller.